The Bank of Canada has cut its key interest rate, and it follows that Canada's major banks will offer new mortgage products, and the expectation is lower mortgage rates. Let's look at what we can expect from the banks and how that is going to impact Canada's real estate market going into spring. We're joined by our real estate reporter, Tamsin McMahon. Tamsin, welcome. Thank you. So what has been the response of banks so far? Well, it's been pretty slow, actually, just considering you know, we've had a rate cut from the Bank of Canada. We've uh, had TD come out to say that they're not lowering their prime rate so far, and uh, other banks have also not lowered their prime rate. But in the last few days, we've seen uh, banks come out with some specials on uh, fixed rate mortgages. RBC and TD have come out with some pretty competitive rates. So I think we're going to see um, rates come down even more, um, and it's going to be a pretty competitive market. So if you've got a variable rate, not good news for you yet, but if you're looking for a fixed rate mortgage, a, a new mortgage product, perhaps some good news there. Yeah, I think people who have variable rate mortgages were obviously expecting to see a rate drop pretty quickly. It hasn't happened. Um, people are already getting a bit upset about that and a, a number of brokers are saying that eventually some of that pressure is going to get to the banks and they will start lowering their, uh, their prime rates. So we will see variable rate mortgages come down as well. But as you've been reporting, you know, we can expect some sort of price war when it comes to mortgage rates. We're heading into the spring market, um, which is a, a traditionally a, a hot time for the housing market. And I think just given where bond yields are, are headed, um, the banks are going to start to come out with some pretty, uh, pretty low rates. So it's going to be a good time if you're in the market for a house. Well, that's what I'm curious about. I mean, give me a picture of what the spring is likely to look like in terms of the real estate market. Well, I think um, uh, before the Bank of Canada cut its rates, we were expecting a much more subdued housing market, just given low oil prices and a lot of the economic uncertainty and the low dollar. Uh, but now that we have these, uh, you know, rates coming down quite quickly, um, you know, it's, it's likely it's going to fuel the, the housing market. So we're going to start to see some uh, price wars among the banks, and we're going to see probably some some. Uh, new bidding wars in certain markets, uh, markets like Toronto and Vancouver that were already pretty uh, healthy to begin with and where the local economy isn't particularly exposed to the resource sector. Uh, so you have a combination of uh, lower mortgage rates and cheaper gas prices are going to make it a lot more affordable for some of those buyers. So Toronto and Vancouver benefits uh, potentially from a very hot real estate market in the spring. Who else benefits? Well, Calgary and Alberta generally to, to some extent, just because there had been uh, you know, a lot of uncertainty about what was going to happen, obviously, with low oil prices. So now you have rates coming down. So buyers who were already in position to afford a, a home uh, in Calgary will find it a bit easier to, to purchase one. Um, but uh, I think there's still a, a bit of a wait and see mentality in those markets just to see what happens with oil prices. And obviously, if there's a big downturn or recession in Alberta, that's going to cool the housing market there, regardless of you know, how low rates will go. Indeed, yeah. I mean, layoffs would just put a real damper on the housing market there. But whenever we talk about the housing market in Canada, there's always that perennial question about the bubble. You know, what kind of concerns are there around that? So I think there's some concern that, that this rate cut from the Bank of Canada is just going to push up those levels of household debt even more and just reignite some bidding wars in some markets and sort of, you know, maybe reinflate a bubble that was slowly deflating. Okay. Tamsin, thank you so much. Thank you.